What's good? What's good? Welcome back to Invest and Trade with Jax and good morning from Canada. I'm back home after four and a half months of travel. Uh, it's nice to be back. It's winter here and it's snowing, but um, it's okay. I'm back here with my parents, Mufasa and Sarabi. Why can't I zoom in? <laughs> Let me zoom in real quick for you guys. Get some. Hopefully you guys can see them. <laughs> They're always watching over me. All right, so we're gonna get into Matic, guys. Hope you're well. Hope the pets are healthy. Currently, we're sitting at a dollar sixty. We're down about one point nine percent on the day. We're sitting at a market cap of eleven billion. Twenty-four hour volume, six hundred seventy million. Man, it feels really good to be back at my stand-up desk. Um, I don't like sitting when I'm making videos and I was sitting for like four months and my back was killing me. If you're new to, <laughs> you're new to crypto.com, uh, you can sign up to the world's fastest crypto growing app and grab one of the incredible Visa cards for cash back in crypto. Free Spotify, Netflix Prime travel incentives depending on the level of card that you have. So let's hop into Matic guys as well as $25 in crypto just for signing up through my referral. So we were talking about that double bottom. We didn't quite break the neckline. We got rejected and we rolled over. So maybe what we'll see here is a bit of an ascending triangle. Pull out this level of resistance, drop in this level of support here for Matic. And you can see we bounce perfectly off that level of support. So if you see Matic start to come up, maybe we get rejected by the resistance again. We bounce off the support. That's when we could see our breakout back to the upside. It is a bullish pattern, guys, and it would take Matic back up to our take profit zone at 182. Now, if it were to break down, always a possibility, guys, it would bring us down here to about 141. We're going to look at Matic here on the daily time frame. So we're still holding the support of the golden ratio, which is a strong sign of continuation. You know what happens when you get back above the golden ratio. Higher likelihood you're going to come up to where you started in the 1.272 extension. Now, if we lose this level of support, do target 128. And if I pop over to this chart here, I pulled my Fibonacci from our swing low down to our swing high. So our Fibonacci is inverted, guys. So the level of support that you don't want to see us lose is about 136. Because if you lose the golden ratio, there's a higher likelihood you're going to come back to where you started. It works the exact same way. If I flip this over, you can see here. So if we get back above the golden ratio, high likelihood you're going to come back to where you started in the 1.272. So it's the exact same thing when you're going through a correction. If we come down and we lose the golden ratio, we back test it as resistance. You come back down to where you started, $1. And if you lose this swing low, you can head down to the 1.272. Coming in at 081. If you lose the swing low, you're creating a reversal wave, and then you can come all the way back down to the 1.618 extension. I don't think that's a likely scenario, guys. I think that's quite unlikely. But if you were to see us lose 136, that is when we could come all the way back down to the swing low at $1. Let's quickly look at Ethereum, guys. So we can see here we met our target from our descending broadening wedge. And I have been talking about the possibility of that ABC correction. I said, if we come down and we get rejected by the previous high, I'm just gonna open this up. Our previous all time high back in May here, that's when you can see us go through an ABC correction that could bring us all the way down to 3580. So if we fail to get back above, I'm gonna drop it in here. If we fail to get back above about 4416 and we start to lose the 55 EMA, I would target 3580. However, guys, if we can break through, we get back above the 20, we're good to go for continuation up to the 1.272 at 5731 for Ethereum. So let's finish off the video here with Matic. So do keep an eye on this ascending triangle. If you see us come up and break this level of resistance, do target 182, that is your breakout target. And then if we break down from this pattern, would bring Matic down to about $1.40. And if we were to break down from this pattern, that's when you could see Matic come all the way back down to 128. If Ethereum were to go through that ABC correction, then we would see Matic come down to this level. But, but as of right now, we're holding the golden ratio. If we can bounce here, get back above the EMAs, we start heading back up to the 0.786, which is coming in about $1.96, our all-time high at 270. We have the 1.272 at 405, our bull run target 677, the 1.618, and the dream price at 1181. And our bull run targets here for Ethereum, 
We have the 1.618 coming in at 8,000 and the two extension, which is at 11,377. So that's it for this one, guys. Quick shout out to the Discord. We have over 1,000 members. We're posting chart patterns. We're talking all things crypto. It's the price of a coffee. You really can't beat it. And you can sign up through the Patreon. Check out crypto.com and I'll see you in the next video. Much love. Take care. Mm -hmm.